we're going to have a look at something called Immersive Reader. And it's a very cool little tool that sits inside of your OneNote. Now to access it at the top bar here, we need to be on view. So view needs to be in purple and it does need to be text. So this text here is has been typed out. So something you've typed on the page. It won't work if you've um, written with a stylus or if it's a picture or a PDF on the page. Okay, so it needs to be typed out text. An immersive reader is there to help you read through your work or work that someone else has given you or to maybe help you with your spelling to make sure things make sense. So lots and lots of things it can do. Now to use it, it's really quite easy. We just come up here at the top and we click on this immersive reader icon. And when we do that, it's going to load up and this is called our immersive reader platform. Now what it will do primarily is read this aloud to you. And you can manage how that sounds by clicking this little icon. This will manage how fast it goes or how slow and whether you want it to be a male or a female voice. Okay. Otherwise, what we do is we just click this play button down here. And basically, it'll start reading out. Now, you're not going to hear that on mine because it's running separately through my speakers, but it will read that out nice and clearly for you. If you're just stuck on one word, for example, you're not sure what this word is here, we can click in it and then click that feature. Now there's some other cool stuff in here as well. So if we click on these A's, you can change how big you want the text to be, whether you want it to be spaced out or not, which one of these fonts, and you can even put a background behind it. So if you find it easier reading with one of these backgrounds behind your words, you can do that. This little magic wand here is for what we call our grammar. So we can turn on our syllables and what that means is it breaks up the words. Okay, and our parts of speech. So if I want to know which ones were my nouns, I can turn that on and have a look. And our last one here is to help us with our reading. So we can turn on line focus and that will basically mean that we just focus on one line at a time. And we can also have this little picture dictionary on which means that if there's a word that it can provide an example as a picture, when we click on it like this one, we'll see that we've kind of got these images of teachers there. So this word is teach. Our very last one, and it may or may not be relevant for you, but you also have the ability to translate this. Okay, so if I needed to um, read this in a different language, I could pick that language and then it will turn this on and it will change the entire document to that language. You can turn that and it will flick it back off. So there's lots of cool features in here that you can play around with. What I want you to do is I'm going to click close here. I want you to type at least one sentence for me in this green box. Then I want you to open up Immersive Reader and have a bit of a play around.